Hi, I'm Nikoya, and in this short video, I'm going to give you four simple tips for giving effective feedback when you do peer editing in your writing class. Now, these tips are for composition, but they can help you anytime you need to give feedback on how someone else performed. The first tip is to use the rubric. Rubric is just an academic word for a grading system or chart. So any way that a teacher or class is assigning value to what you created. When you use the rubric, you want to pretend that you are a teacher. Pretend that you are giving a grade the same way that the teacher would. And when you give that grade, you want to have a good reason. Using the rubric helps you be specific about why you are grading or evaluating the writing the way that you are. Let's look at an example. Here's a small section of a rubric or a grading chart for a paragraph. You can see there are five characteristics that the teacher is looking for, and they each have different values. So you can use this to pretend that you are a teacher and look for these characteristics when you read your classmates' writing. After you have read the writing and reviewed the rubric, you want to give feedback to your classmate. And first, you should celebrate. Find one or two things that the writer did well and tell them. Use the rubric to guide you. Sometimes it can be challenging to find something good in writing. So it could be something simple like the paper was very organized and neat and clean or they did the title correctly. You can always find something positive to celebrate about what the writer created. After you celebrate, you want to suggest. Find one or two things the writer can approve and talk about them. Now, suggesting can be challenging. You don't want to hurt your classmates' feelings. So my final tip is to use I language. These are sentences that help make your suggestions more gentle. Here are some examples of ways you can start sentences with I language. So when you're reading your classmates' writing and you want to celebrate, you could say, I think your topic sentence is really clear. I could understand it very easily. But then when you want to make a suggestion, you could say, I wish the middle part of the paragraph was more clear. I would like it very much if there were words that helped me understand the order that the paragraph happens. So using I language helps us make our celebrations and our suggestions more gentle for our classmate. So let's review the four tips of how to give effective feedback. Number one, use the rubric or the grading system. Number two, celebrate. Find something the writer did well and tell them. Number three, suggest. Find something the writer can improve and tell them. And finally, when you tell them, use I language to make your suggestions more gentle. I hope this helps you give effective feedback, not just in your writing class, but in other areas of your life where people ask you for your opinion on how they've done something. Thanks for joining me today.